Brad Eastman, also known as Beastman, and I'm a creative person from Sydney, and I'm currently um, based in Bali, making paintings amongst other things. Uh, I guess sea change to some extent, and just sort of bring the kids to another culture and, and try and make different work. For me, painting was always a thing I just did on the side. It's like it's just like a just like messing around. It's like another thing to just play around with and have fun with. And I used to paint my skateboards and just make stupid paintings for my friends and and lots of drawings. And I just but I never would show them anyone what I was doing. And then eventually I started making um, work that I knew was somewhat different. And I guess I guess now I look back on it, it's like I spent you know, 10, 15 years, like, just trying to find something that was unique and it was like a, you know, a style that I knew was mine and only then did I want to sort of, you know, project that onto other people. So I started getting involved in exhibitions and making paintings and just surrounding myself in the, the art community that was going on in Sydney at the time. I'm always just on this continual journey and, and I always will be into the future of like trying to um, create a visual language that's that's truly mine. If you look at my work that I was putting out there 10 years ago and compared to now it's obviously changed but it, it still maintains a, a continual thread and a, and a solid visual language that um, and that's what I'm really interested in in terms of making art. Definitely drawn inspiration from not only the landscape here, and, but the people here, and, and the Hindu culture, and, and the entire sort of handmade aesthetic behind everything here. Whether it's you know like the wood carving and like the, the fabric making, like batik and inside card, just trying to um, you know channel all those patterns and things and, and and input them into the painting. So the paintings are kind of like these really abstract sort of combinations of landscape and, and the future and um, man versus nature and um, yeah like kind of fabric patterns and just all this sort of stuff that I'm seeing and, and you know weather and plants and, just, and the colours and everything that I see here and they're all just ran into these paintings so it's been fun to make them. It's also been good to sort of be able to slow down a bit here and slow paced lifestyle for us and I guess spend more time with the kids and it's given me more time to think about the artwork I'm making and, and it's helped me move forward rather than when I was in Sydney, I was definitely stuck. I think I was producing too much artwork too fast so you end up being somewhat repetitive and, um, you know, and I don't like that. As soon as I start getting repetitive, I don't like it. I need to like stop for a while and then begin again. For me, like art making is like a, a journey and um, you know, I can see where I've come from still and, and, I, and I can also see where it's going. It's about trying to move forward and it's about constantly evolving and changing your artwork to maintain being something unique.